And now I must play our music that we need. Oops. This will do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, taking the attack to start will be Hoy Crusaders with the defenders being Blame Elias. Let's see the unit compositions based off our last. A lot of outriders in play, uh, like last time, where the outriders were banned. And the drums are beaten, bro. The drums are beaten. Let me know if the music is too loud, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know if the music is too loud. Nipples Cage is also in the check in the seat, brother. Looking look good as always. A lot of Reapers, Palace Guards, Javelins coming in for Holy Crusaders with Namcons in the strat with Ball Boys mixed in as well. Uh, and for the defenders, Blame Elias, a shit ton of cab. Double cab on double cab with Reapers, Madow mixed in. Tercios mixed in. Flames, some specialty units like Senji's also in the mix. Interesting. Florida Brocky is also brought on the field. They were also banned last match. This should be a very nice match, bro. Let's good luck to everybody. Good luck to everybody. Incoming Sally, ladies and gentlemen. Incoming Sally. Will Holy Crusaders be ready for it? Stay tuned. I don't think so. Based off what I'm seeing right now. Look at all that calf. <laughs> and here we go, ladies and gentlemen. And it does look like they're going to go for an A-side calf push. Where the hell? And it looks like it does look like Holy Crusaders will take that deep south push here. Hold it down and keep it together here. Let me get out and zoom out real quick. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. There's the Sally. Moments are taking the brunt of it. They're not set up at all for it. They're all trying to pull Cav. The supply point is blocked by Lama the Cray. Lazy and Parrot are making a flanking play right for the tower. Going straight for the gun. Slams the guns. Brace Pike Militia. I'm, I won't lie. This is not looking good at all for Holy Crusaders. They're getting hard sallied on. Definitely we're not expecting it at all. Uh, really just kind of struggling all around here, man. Just kind of struggling all around here for Holy Crusaders off the bat. Um, we'll have to see how they react to this. They're going to go for a hard wall rush. Uh, try to ignore the Sally altogether. Going for close range trebs. Danger close trebs. Kushimoto, Bigger Apple, and Fat Boy watching Supply Point while the rest of the stack goes to the tab right wall and tries to get up the ladders. Lama the Brave, Mr. Talk, and Lama the Christ seeing that. Going for the encircling their prey there. Yukushimoto kind of running without a unit right now. Um, one trip being shut off right away, ladies and gentlemen. One trip being shut off right away. I just got to turn the music real quick for the left me. Sorry, one second to setting up. Two seconds, two seconds, two seconds. And, of course, ladies and gentlemen, it does look like Holy Crusaders will get slightly up on the wall, but they're just getting slammed right now. There's nothing that Holy Crusaders can do here. A couple of their guys making it on the wall, but it's in vain, ladies and gentlemen. Do they take A here? We'll have to see. And Blame Elias is really cap heavy. They just did the fucking full Sally of Gondor on these guys. They're going back inside in that full death ball approach, not even staying outside. They realize A is in danger. Holy Crusaders does have a handful of players on the wall. trying to salvage the situation. Makes a hard push for A. They do take A. Um, the Sally does, was very successful indeed for Boy Elias, but they will lose A in the process. B also being taken by Batcat from Bofi Slayer, who sees that, that play over there and reacts to it right away. I clicked something on accident. My, my camera's bugging, bro. Wolfie Slayer and Jinjin going to, Wolfie Slayer and Jinjin and Soul fight. Uh, Wolfie Slayer and Jinjin are now fighting Soul on B. They will cap B. Egg also being taken. The wall is decisively taken at a cost of only a few hundred units at most. Um, we'll have to see that. It was a good salary by them, but they give walls in the process, giving uh, Holy Crusaders a shit ton of time against Blame, uh, Blame Elias here. We'll have to see how it plays out, ladies and gentlemen. Nice wall climb. Nice wall climb. And it does look like Holy Crusaders will now stay on the wall, mass up on the wall. It does look like Blame Elias is staying majority, uh, majority, uh, cab still with some infantry mixed in like Fort Abracchio. Um, Blame Elias does not want to let Supply Point go. They are watching it quite intently. Holy Crusaders now on the walls decisively have secured the walls. A and B completely secure. 11 minutes on the clock to take C. Lama the Christ still looking for a Sally Kushimoto anti in there. Uh, the Supply Point being slightly contested by Blood Story right now, um, Holy Crusaders decisively on the walls. Outriders is firing away. Without Outriders being, Outriders being banned, defenders are able to shoot the staircases that they're going to push down into. Um, we'll have to see how this plays out. I 
It's still very winnable by both teams. There's no, it's very even still. I mean, yes, it was a good salary by Blame of Lies. Yes, they definitely had a good push. But um, Hulk Crusaders now has to figure out how to get off the wall and push down into that. They need to have anti cap. If they have Madows, it's over for Blame of Lies. But um, Blame of Lies is really relying heavily on Cav here. Hulk Crusaders staying in the Death Ball formation, very similar to PG. Some anti infantry mixed in here. We'll have to see how they push down and make a play here. Blame of Lies really came to play tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Good rebound so far, I agree. We'll have to see how it goes down. A Sir, Asianism, and Wolfie looking for a supply point opportunity. Uh, it does look like B-Side might be the play here. B-Side to C. Uh, a lot of cap firing with his outriders kind of just shooting away, kind of melting away their forces. Ten, one minute already wasted on the clock. Fat Boy and Wolfie looking for an opportunity to make a play here. Wall just kind of, Wall is decisively taken. They're not pressuring Walls at all. They're just looking for a way down into this best opportunity. Uh, we'll have to see what Lone puts on Lone's so mind right now trying to think about this. Knockouts on the field. Hapsar just mixed it with impacts right now in Hussars. Um, a lot of cab javelins, outrides, with a couple of four brachios and guns mixed in, but not enough to really... Um, I mean, possibly, possibly Holy Crusaders pushes down here, but they have to get past the onslaught of cab. A couple guys in the wall right now. Asianism in a 1v2 in a one scenario is a long story. Pain in the ass, if I say so myself. But Asianism definitely won't die to it, but he won't get the kills either, which is annoying. Gorth comes to support him right away with his musket, realizing that he needs his, his homie needs some help. Goes musket versus musket. Starts shooting at Blood Story. Blum of the Brave right behind him. Gorth, not, the Asianism not pushing forward. Uh, I'm not sure why. Playing very passive here. Uh... And there, Gorth gets 1v1, 1v2 now. Asian kind of ignoring Gorth at this point. Gorth now by himself fighting at 1v2. I don't know why Asian is not responding to help him. Um, B-side, staircase also being pressured. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoom away from this real quick and go over here. Because there is a staircase push being happening right now. And also a massive B-door. Uh, it does look like Holy Crusaders will do a staircase and B-door push with their own cab and their own anti-infantry. They are masking up for an assault. Taking their time. Three minutes been wasted on the wall so far. Gorth and Asian playing passive by supply point. Looking for a backup opportunity. Jinjin back. Lord Swordsman and Sora and Bjorn Wolf looking for a hard play here on downstairs. They do get to the downstairs decisively here. Javelin's being thrown. They ignore them completely and let it go. It does look like Holy Crusaders will take down that door. It does look like Blame Lies will try to anti it, losing all their cav and one fell swoop to Hussars. Woo! And Blame Elias, a lot of cav on the field. Holy Crusaders can make a big play here. They have a lot of anti cav. It might be over for Blame Elias on supply point if they get sandwiched. They are on a two front war, but Blame Elias is playing very passive with Avarize and shooting and sniping and playing very, very passive. Uh, Gorth seeing this pushes down the supply to fight Lama the Brave in a 1v1 scenario. Seaside also being pushed. Bjorn Wolf and, and Yana taking the front line. Cap pushing through. Jinjin and Wolfie Slayer following up to help. Vac and Fatboy in the death ball mix. Gorth taking supply point for free. Adam Aurora looking to anti that from Gorth. Nice Trev as well. Slams the calf. And ladies and gentlemen, you are currently witnessing a comeback by Holy Crusaders here. From the Sally to taking C point with time on the clock comfortably. Setting themselves up for a home push here. Supply point also be decisively taken. Blame Elias suddenly taking a very, very passive approach. I need a, I need an Advil. Wow. With all that cavalry on the field, they're not able to really add to the infantry. And Holy Crusader is playing heavy infantry. Uh, expected heavy infantry as well from Blame Elias based off the discussion we just had. And it looks like Blame Elias came through with a shit ton of cav. A lot of death... I'm not going to lie, Blame Lies is definitely taking a lot of L's here with their Cav. Um, very nice push initially, but Holy Crusaders now has advantage, setting up for a hard push here. One guy in the back line is Fatboy vs. Bloodstory, Musket vs. Maul. <coughs> Tabrite Supply uh, being decisively taken by Holy Crusaders, uncontested. Mini Castle being set up. Same exact strat that Chaka Palins had had um, against PG here. We'll have to see how this works out with uh, Holy Crusaders now versing um, Blame Elias. A very interesting strat, kind of like Deja Vu. Mm. Very slow start here. Um, kind of survived at this point in time. Mini Castle set up heavily here by um, Mini Castle set up heavily here by Blame Elias and Tabrite Supply decisively set up here by Holy Crusaders. Both in the Death Ball mode, both using half the map to kind of focus. Mini Castle being pushed here slightly, very slightly by Holy Crusaders, who are lightly probing. If I want to use a better choice of words. Um, that's what I want. 
Currently 762 units on the field right now. Four Holy Crusaders to 854 units to blame Elias. Um, 500 down currently for 500 dead currently for Holy Crusaders and 215 down for Blame Elias. A lot of Blame Elias' cap, probably part of that 215. It's still anybody's fight, ladies and gentlemen. Eight minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. Loads are calling it a Treb on point. Uh, it probably will not land. Nine Trebs available. 12 Trebs available still at this point in time for Holy Crusaders who have not used a lot of their Trebs at all. It looks like they're setting a line formation here. Minicastle not being pressured. It does look like uh, Holy Crusaders will go for a death ball straight to home, ignore Minicastle altogether, giving Blame Elias an opportunity to just kind of start snipping. Like, this can just get mowed down at this point in time by these guns on the wall. Um, Holy Crusaders in a death ball formation don't really have a lot of cover right there. Um, Wild Trebs is going off, looking to soften them up a little bit for their big push here. They are very messed up. They're going to look for an even exchange trade here. The flank being pressured, the mini-castle being pressured, the mini-castle flank being pressured. Asianism and Bloody Booby Dixon on the flank, looking to make a play here. Four Brikers in position, charging right now. Four Brikers getting braced. Peach is charging in. Flank crab going on the flank. Booby Dixon anties the cab from Lazy Imperator. Asianism on the front line. Front line also being pressured. This Trebs going off. It does look like Holy Crusader is going to take a little more of a passive approach here. Stay more. Not really push the point just yet. Just kind of winning some small skirmishes here and there. Unit count evening out a little bit better. Uh, still in the favor of, uh, of Blame Elias here. <sighs> Interesting play. I'm wondering what's on Lone Sword's mind here. Um, he's looking for an opportunity. He's looking for an end, but he's not going around mini cows. So he doesn't want to sacrifice any units. He's staying in a death ball formation, but he's taking a lot of gunfire. They are just getting shot by guns right now. Wolfie Slayer is using his own Outriders. Is looking to do some damage himself, kind of like what Blame Elias is doing to them on the walls. He's looking to harass as well. They realize they have 6 minutes and 30 seconds on the clock, so they're taking their time, trying to soften up the unit count, even it back out to where it needs to be to make a push with more than one chance. Um, a couple of Alchemist throws from Mini Castle here. A big mass up about for Blame Elias here. They are really stepping Mini Castle. Um, I don't think Lone Star is going to want to push in with Mini Castle looking like this. He's not certain about it. Um, also, Central being very heavily secured. Fury also taking down Bjorn Wolf as well. Let's see if the other side gets been patient enough. It does look like Blame Elias is looking for the fucking play. Booby Dixon and Yukushimori versus 3v2 over there versus Lama the Brave, Bravo, and Mr. Tak. More already going off on, uh, more Trebs going off on Central here, looking for any way to soften them up possible. They're using all their Trebs before they push. Yada making a slow advance, not enough. Flames firing! Booby Dixon is, uh, I mean, Yada has baited the flames. Uh, there are flames on the field right now for, uh, Blame Elias, ladies and gentlemen. Damn, there's two even nice, there's two really nice trades. I'm going to actually just stay just like this and actually zoom out a little bit. There we go. Here's the push, ladies and gentlemen. A whole point pushing coming now. Bigger Apple Ginger and, and watching the back line. BTG also in the back line. Mr. Talk and Fat Boy fighting in the back line with Asian and Blood Story. Ginger now in a 1v1 versus Furiosa. A home point push. Who wins the exchange here? It's going to come down to that. Cap is going off. It does look like Holy Crusaders is on point here. In a 4v5 scenario. Very interesting trades happening right now. They are Holy Crusaders is flying the point. Blame Elias is barely anything at the point at this point in time. And looking at the hero count right now, it does look like Holy Crusaders do have a lot of heroes dead. And there's a charge by Blame Elias. Blame Elias cycling off supplies. Now anti them back off. It does not look like Holy Crusaders is one of the hero trade at all. Half of Holy Crusaders has now been killed. The guns are just firing away up in Minute Castle. The push was in vain. Cav now flooding in. Blame Elias seeing the opportunity. Snowballs them. Takes them completely out. Kills Lone Sword. Kills Fat Boy. And Yukushi Mo and Bigger Apple on the run. Booby Dixon trying to reinfect. They're being pushed completely out, ladies and gentlemen. They are almost full wipe. Five heroes left right now on the field for Holy Crusaders. Blame Elias giving them zero time to breathe. The 14 heroes on the field themselves. Push the Ted Wright supply. Stop them from pulling, it looks like. Barely gets the pole off. No pole was taken here, ladies and gentlemen. Do not get the pole off. Blame Elias floods in with invisible hussars, as we can see right here. And, of course, it does look like Holy Crusaders is going to get full wipe here. Very good play by Blame Elias. Very good play by Blame Elias here. Um, Holy Crusaders will have to recover heavily from that. They are now down to 825 units to 487 for, Chaka uh, for uh, Blame Elias. Gushimoto is now down as well. That is going to be a full reset, ladies and gentlemen, for Holy Crusaders. Mini Castle Strat worked. Holy Crusaders not wanting to give Tabrite supply, immediately goes back in and resecures it. Blame will lie, realizing that's what they're going to want to do, of course, give it back and go back to Mini Castle position instead for the next attack. <coughs> Very nice play there by Blame Elias. Very nice play. Big work for them. That was a big dub there for Blame Elias. Still anybody's fight, but Blame Elias definitely just walked away with a big nice one there. Let's see what Holy Crusaders has left in them. 
Holy Crusade is going right back into position. Morale is not broken. They're still set up. Some of them have units. Some of them don't. Uh, very mixed units. Some of them are out of units completely. A lot of outriders still in the field. PGs, Ford Brackers mixed in with some down mix. Still two down right now. Four Holy Crusaders waiting for the respawn. Three minutes on the clock. Even though they have this additional time, it's a very challenging situation right now for Holy Crusaders. Limited time on the clock. They have to make a play. It looks like they're going for that home point push again. Um, I don't know if that's the play. We'll have to see. They're not going to try to secure Mini Castle, even though Mini Castle is lighter than it was. Bravo and Lama the Brave on the flank. Mr. Talak, Furios, and Lord Monka, of course, watching the flank as well. Asianism, the only soldier on the back line with eight with bigger apple. Back back there, too, but he's literally in the death ball at this point. Uh, Bravo, of course, making a flanking play here. He's harassing the Outriders. Goes in, takes the Outriders out with his glaive, flying Reapers them. Asianism in a 1v1 scenario. Bravo should die there to Asianism. Asianism is a pretty good pull axe. And uh, he does die there to Asianism. Uh, on the central line, Lord Monka and uh, Furos is watching Minicast. On the central line, is just a death ball format. Guns are just firing away. These guns up here are a menace. Zero traps have been shot on them. These guns are literally just eating with four Brachios. There's nothing that um, Holy Crusaders can do about it until they trap. At this point in time, both heroes have two down. Both teams have two down heroes. Many castle being pushed finally by Holy Crusaders, realizing that they need to push there. They need to secure that. Asian makes a play in there. Vac follows through a bigger apple and yada. Um, Booby Dixon and Bjorn will take an essential approach there. Gorth on the flank, looking for an opportunity, looking for a play, looking to, to find uh, his new girlfriend. Bigger Apple, of course, with Yukushimoto in the minicast. Minicast will slightly secure four Brockies and guns still up top, which is what they really want to do. There, Yukushimoto missing the jump. Bigger Apple jumping on top of the guns. It does look like Holy Crusaders will go for a last ditch, ditch, ditch effort here to take home point. Four Brockies all over home here for um, Blame Elias here. They are not giving up home. They're going to get Minicast. Holy Crusaders will st decisively secure Minicast here after some time. Manassas is currently fighting for uh, Blame Elias there, but they will go down. Hero plays big there for Holy Crusaders. Holy Crusaders has very limited time on the clock. One minute and 40 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. One minute and 40 seconds. Um, Blame Elias floods in there into, into, into Mini Castle, not giving them a chance to set up. Jinjin makes a flanking play with Outriders. Is it enough? He runs right into Armature Lance and loses his Outriders completely. Whew. And at this point in time, it's looking very tough for Holy Crusaders. They are down 1,100 units to blame Elias is 700. Uh, heroes still intact here, partially for Holy Crusaders. Many of them dead at this point in time. Half of them dead. Blame Elias is kind of feasting at this point in time on the Heroes of the Innocent. <clears throat> minute on the clock and it's not looking good for Holy Crusaders at all uh, Booby Dixon surviving back on the field as well Jinjin and Sora are trying to stay alive but Blame Elias is all over they came to play ladies and gentlemen uh, it's a big surprise to everyone on the stream I think because I think most people voted for Holy Crusaders in this first fight um, it's looking very decisive, decisive in the favor of Blame Elias they came to play they had Cav on the salad no one was expecting that and they really did big with that they lost A and B there was a comeback there by, uh, Chaka, by, by uh, Holy Crusaders this wasn't enough And ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be on basically a full wipe here uh, for Holy Crusaders. One person alive, Wolfie Slayer in the back. Very big play here by Blame Elias. Blame Elias does uh, decisively secure the uh, the field of play. Uh, really nice coordination there by Blame Elias, giving them zero chance to breathe. Holy Crusaders kind of caught with the pants down multiple times with the Cav. Very surprising for NA to be caught that. But we caught with down bad with that Cav. Usually NA is like pro Cav. So it's very surprising. Well played by both teams, absolutely. Blame Elias really surprised me as well. Really came to play and is getting it done. Um, and yeah, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. It's the first fight. Wow. What a fight. What a fight. Blame Elias really decisively taking the dub here, as we can see, based off these unit these hero kills. I mean, MVP for Blame Elias, Lama the Cray, followed up by Blood Story, Liza and Parody, and Elias the Veggie. All of them, 6, 12, 18, 20 hero kills between their top four players alone. Only 15 people in the fight. Um, I have to say, Blame Elias definitely did some massive damage early on with hero damage, and it definitely cost Holy Crusaders severely. Um... A lot of a lot of comebacks, a really nice defense here, a really nice fight in general. Um, for MVP, for excuse me, guys, my voice is going. <clears throat> uh, the MVP here walking away for Holy Crusaders is Booby Dixon, Bigger Apple, Jinjin, Yukushimoto, Asianism, Yada, and Lone Sword uh, following up. It does look like uh, Booby Dixon will take the dub here with no hero kills, unfortunately. Uh, hero kills were definitely uh, hard to come by here for Holy Crusaders with Bigger Apple and Vac. Being the top uh, hero killers of four hero kills and three hero kills, but taking several deaths themselves. Um, very hard fight here for uh, Holy Crusaders, ladies and gentlemen. Very hard fight. Killed a lot of goals in the style. You're absolutely right, Akumo. 
<coughs> Let's look at the post battle analysis. So as you can see, the stat was crazy. Um, they had a Lone Star had a right idea with the Death Ball, had no anti cap on the field, uh, split off from the Death Ball instantly, and even with the wall climb, the late wall climb on Tab right, it was too late. Uh, Blame Elias came to play, ladies and gentlemen, and they just slaughtered in that field. They must have killed 300, 340 100 units in the field and barely lost anything in the process. Cycled back in. They lost A and B, yes. And, um, and of course, uh, Hooker Sayers recovered. Got down the wall, made a B-side push. Sit, sat, st stabilized situation, making an honorable effort to push for home. But, um, you know, even on the comeback, even when Blame Elias lost C pretty decisively and kind of got started getting taking some L's, uh, Holy Crusaders um, does not secure Mini Castle on home point. Instead, go for a home point push. And uh, many castle players are able to snipe down and shoot into uh, Holy Crusaders, killing the heroes, knocking them out. Um, and then the Cav came and the Cav, they cycled, Blame Elias cycled back out their Cav that were still alive and uh, pushed straight to Tabrite Supply, completely wiping Holy Crusaders and whatever uh, hopeful push they had left. Um, there you had it, ladies and gentlemen. There you had it.